Local judges aren't usually household names, but the name Daryl Brooks changed that for Waukesha County Judge Jennifer Doro. After weeks of holding the national spotlight in the high profile case, she's considering a run for one of the most important offices in Wisconsin. Mary Stoker Smith joins us now in studio with the interview she did with Judge Doro today. Well, everyone wants to know about the Daryl Brooks case and whether the judge is running for Wisconsin Supreme Court. She didn't want to talk about any of that, but as we did press her today, we learned more about what drives her and her philosophy on the bench. They really felt drawn to First Amendment religious liberty law, if you can imagine that. And um, but when I went to law school, I fell in love with criminal law and was a research assistant for one of my professors. And then by that time, Brian and I were very serious. And I'm like, so I, I wanted to come back home and I wanted to be a prosecutor. And that's kind of some of the path. But then also fell in love with the rule of law and intrigued by what judges do and kind of always kind of kept that in the back of my head. And as they say, you know, one thing led to the other. I can't help but ask about the state Supreme Court. It's been so wonderful and amazing, the support that people have shown and the encouragement and certainly something that I'm taking to heart and uh, will need to decide pretty quickly if that's something I wanna pursue. So you're still mulling it over, you're saying? Definitely. Why do you think there is a lack of female representation in particularly African-American females in the courtroom and on the bench? You know, I, I don't know that I can answer that um, other than uh, we are seeing a lot more women I mean as far as I understand the numbers right a lot more women it's about a 50 50 it's not always that representative though on the bench and you have to be very very comfortable with the buck stops with you you can't make everyone happy and sometimes you have to make really tough decisions uh, that you know are going to impact a variety of people. It is a lot of responsibility. I mean, I'm sure there were times you lay awake at night thinking, how am I gonna handle this? What am I gonna do? How is this person gonna act in the courtroom? How do you deal with that? So I have seen a variety of individuals throughout my time. Um, we have wonderful resources as judges in Wisconsin. We have what are called bench books. And so I have a criminal bench book and believe it or not, there is a section on difficult people. It's not called that, um, <laughs> but there's a lot of case law that's developed over time. And so as a judge, that's one of your go-to resources. So if you think you're gonna be faced with some of those things, you start planning ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You just remember why you're there. And that's, I like to look at it as I'm a guardian and a gatekeeper, right? I'm a gatekeeper for the information that comes in, especially during a trial, but I'm a guardian for everyone's rights that are in that courtroom. And Judge Doro also talked about just how she approaches sentencing and keeps her cool on the bench when met with disruptions. We're going to have that answer for you coming up tonight on Fox 6 News at 10. We'll see you then, Mary. Thanks. One minute.